Good morning everyone, this is Ruth Mishona Buan, your senior vlogger. I tackle all possible issues of today and even that of yesterday and tomorrow as long as it is worth knowing and sharing. If you did not subscribe to this channel yet, please do subscribe now and click the bell button to keep updated of new videos in case I cannot send the link promptly. Like and you may leave a comment or message as I gladly acknowledge and welcome all sorts of interest. Eid al fitr is a celebration, a festival that marks the end of Ramadan. Muslims around the world are celebrating. Eid al fitr to all my Muslim friends is scattered all over the world, from the Philippines to the Middle East, to Europe and to the West. The name of the holiday Eid al fitr is a literal translation of the occasion that is being celebrated, which means festival of the breaking of the fast, or it may also mean the feast of fast breaking. During the month of Ramadan, or during the month of Ramadan, Muslims fast from early morning to sundown to honor the month that the Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. At the end of the month of Ramadan, when new moon is sighted, Eid al-Fitr begins. Festivities doesn't begin until the new moon appears in the sky, although traditionally and actually even today it doesn't begin until the barest sliver of a waxing present moon is seen. Technically, this means that across the world, Eid al-Fitr starts at different times and even different days depending on the location. To make it more uniform, some Muslims celebrate Eid al-Fitr when the moon or when the new moon rather appears over Makkah instead of their own locations. Islamic calendar is based on lunar cycles as opposed to the Gregorian calendar which is based on the solar cycle, which also most of us are using. In Islamic or lunar calendar, new month start and end with its new moon. The average new moon appears every 29 days, while the Gregorian months usually last 30 or 31 days. This means every year Ramadan is held about 10 days earlier in relation to the Gregorian calendar. Eid festivities traditionally last for three days depending on how it falls on the calendar, like if the three days fall in the midweek, most likely it will still be celebrated over the weekend. In the morning, at the start of the festivities, before leaving to perform the morning prayers, Muslims wake up to cleanse their bodies and don new clothes or grab their finest wardrobe similar to getting new clothes for Easter Sunday to most Christians. Muslim women decorate their hands with elaborate henna patterns. Some Muslims wear traditional clothing, while others opt for contemporary clothing. We commonly greet our Muslim brothers and sisters Eid Mubarak, which means have a blessed Eid. After getting dressed up and ready for the day, Muslims gather for prayers in mosque or outdoor locations. Some may visit the graves of their loved ones to pray and clean grave sites. Eid al-Fitr is a time of abundance, not just on food but gifts. Gifts often are given especially to children. These gifts are called Eidi. Eid al-Fitr is one of the two important Eid celebrations in the Muslim faith. The other is Eid al-Adha, known as the Feast of the Sacrifice or Greater Eid. Eid al-Adha is a celebration of the sacrifice of Ibrahim or Abraham to make it to Allah. I hope and pray for my Muslim brothers and sisters that God will bestow blessings on you in behalf of your sacrifices and supplication. Have a blessed Eid and God bless us all. 
May peace and love of mankind be with all of us. This had been Ruth Mission of One, your senior vlogger, signing off for now and see you on my next video.